I am absolutely speechless. I'm watching this game unfold with you right now. There's 10 minutes left and I don't even know where to start. What a capitulation that was. Absolutely embarrassing from start to finish. I'm a very positive Liverpool fan. I love every single player we have and I find it so annoying when, when fans on Twitter especially, little freaks who sit there behind the fucking profile pictures of Salah. Just like everyone off, they go, oh, Salah's rubbish, get him out, Klopp, get him gone, Cowley to get him gone. You bunch of freaks, a lot of you. Get behind the side. For me, we're massively overachieving this year in a very short time frame. I believe if you'd have said, well, if you'd have said, last year, come now, we'd be joint on points with Arsenal, given the full midfield uh, re, you know, five new midfielders, loads of injuries, everything that's gone against us, in my opinion, this year. I would have, I would have bitten your hand off for, for top of the league at this, this stage in time. But still, you, you, you cannot be top of the league and put a performance in like this. What is that telling your opposition? What is that telling Man City and Arsenal? Some title race we're trying to put, we're trying to make off this. We're letting them walk away. Oh my God. Given the Man United game and the Cup game as well, ball comes in and it, it, it sums up our night. Two poor headers. Given the two games we've just had against Man United, the capitulations we saw then... The bottling we saw then. To this, you back it up with something good in Europe at home. It, it's at home. Everything behind you, the fans behind you. And I hate going against the team. Like, going against the team is the worst thing you could possibly do. You've got to stick together in these times, especially in the title race. There's work to be done, but my God, is there work to be done. Some of the individual performances first half. I'm actually embarrassed. Simicas, Jesus Christ. Put a ball in, put a ball in, beat the first man from across, will you? Please. Likes a day school. Just pointless. There were a time where he received the ball, the ball went straight under his foot. You wouldn't get that down Sunday League. Sunday League. Put a delivery in. His delivery was about as good as a, a postman with no arms. Useless today. Robertson came on and for me hasn't done much better. The crossing's been dismal. The intensity from the midfield, Jones, I, I don't think we met the intensity of Atalanta. No disrespect to Atalanta, by the way. They've come here with a plan today and they've executed it very well. They've played with a strict formation. Uh, they've, they've caught us on counter very effectively and, and I've got to put my hat to them. But Liverpool, capitulation at home. Three, it's 3-0. It could have been four, it could have been five. Skamaka had a header over the bar. And again, I hate going against the team. If, if you agree with anything I've said, leave a like on this video. Let me know you agree. This is just beyond. I mean, where do you go from this? We've got a game at weekend. And this is rock. This this confidence could not be lower right now. Man United getting done over two games. Poor performances, in my opinion. Uh, the, the the cup tie just not not finishing your dinner. It's just Gakpo. Like Gakpo's been on for ninety minutes. What's going on? Nunes was terrible. The lack of potency in front of goal. We're like a scorpion with no sting. Sobers lies a shot that doesn't find the back of the net. It's three minutes left. I, I just. We've got to go there now to Italy. A tough side. Italy's renowned for being a tough place to go. Don't care which team you're on about. The fans will get behind. They'll support the team for 90 like they've done here. Such a tough team to break down. Away, we've got to try and score three goals. Yeah, great, good one. In a title race as well. I'm a very optimistic Liverpool fan. I love getting behind these players. I think that's the only way forward. As a fan base, collectively, Jota misses a header. Collectively, you've got to get behind these players now. But today was an absolute freak show. Absolute freak show. Terrible. And also, if you are a positive Liverpool fan, if you are a, a optimistic Liverpool fan, you can be excused for slagging this team off today. What the hell have we seen? 3-0. 3-0 could have been 4, could have been 5. A lack of intensity, a lack of dynamism, not looking confident on the ball. It looks like we've been on piss. We can, have we been out on the night or something? What's going on? Oh, my God. It's so poor from the counter... Susceptible from the counter, so it must have been 20 times in this game. Uh, I didn't even see you lost the ball for that third goal because I set this camera up straight away. Um, I, I, in terms of a title race, we've got Arsenal and Man City all, all looking in. You see an Arsenal do a, a, a good performance for me against Bar, uh, Bayern. Man City with a good performance against Real Madrid. I mean, albeit it was a poor Bayern side in my opinion. At least they're getting results. At least they're getting results in their respective competitions. And we're coming here against the weaker opponents and putting in a 3-0 loss. And it could have been more. It could have been more. The team we put out for me wasn't good enough. I don't know if that was a mindset from Klopp as these are going to be a walkover. And I hope they're not. I think that's naive from me to think that because it's Jurgen Klopp. He knows what he knows what it takes in Europa League, in Champions League. He knows how tough European competition is. Because he was part of Dortmund for a while and they were a very tough competition. 
I don't think he would be naive enough to not play Salah, to, to rest him and think Atalanta aren't all that when they clearly are. However, I've got to question the team. <laughs> After saying all that, you've, you've got to question the starting eleven. Elliot playing far right. I don't think Jones offered much intensity. McAllister, for me, it's, it's all kind of null and void. Gomez, I mean, there was an instance where Gomez had a shot about 10 minutes ago. This has to stop. The fan ba- the fans have to stop getting behind Gomez. I'm all for getting to score his first goal. We're trying to win the league. Would you rather win the league or Gomez scores a worldie? I know which I'd rather. See, there, was a, there was an embarrassing moment. The ball falls on the edge of the box. We're 2-0 down, I think, at the time. And he goes and wallops one over the bar. Got to stop shouting his name when he's... Sobbers lie. The cuts in, Jota, it's, it's nothingness. It's nothing. That attack there completely is a complete... Um, what's the word? I don't even know. I'm just, this has been terrible. Um, yeah, I'm going to leave it there. Really disappointing. They're on the attack, and that's full-time. 3-0 Atalanta. 3-0 Atalanta. What is this saying about Liverpool? At this stage in the title race, as Klopp walks down the tunnel. Let me know your thoughts. As always... This has been absolute capitulation in my opinion. Um, no intensity, no drive, no dynamism, no integrity. It's, it's about integrity in these games. You don't have to be the best side in the world in, in a Europa League tie at home. You've just got to have the character to get over the line and try and run a bit and keep your shape. Atalanta's shape was better than us today. Atalanta ran more effective than us today. They pressed more effective than us today. They had a better plan set out from the start. They were more effective with the ball. All these things, which the stats might even... I've not seen the stats, I don't want to, but the stats might disprove what I've just said. I don't care, I've seen that game in my own eyes, and they outplayed us on pretty much every metric we can think of. Skamaka, for God's sake, he's had a good season this year, granted. And also, he was saying after you say in the comments here that they've got two players who weren't even playing. Two, like, their best two players weren't playing. Who, again, I've not heard of. Without respect, sorry, disrespect to Atalanta, I'm not too clued upon... The Serie A. These aren't even a Napoli or an AC Milan. It's poor for me to disrespect Atalanta because they've been unbelievable today. Fucking hell. They put up a tough test there away. Um, let me know your thoughts as always. Leave a like on the video. Really disappointing. Just depressing that. Yeah. Gutted to be honest. Have a good one.